Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at plotting straight line graphs. So we have a question here, plot graph of equation y equals 3x plus 1. Now you can see that I've actually got graph paper here. So you can get graph paper from any stationery store, or you can print out pages of graph paper off the internet. Um, there's lots of ways of getting it. So don't worry if you don't have graph paper, it's fairly easy to get hold of. So, if I'm plotting a graph of equation y equals 3x plus 1, the first thing I need to do is find some values for my graph in order to plot it. And the way that I go about this is I get to choose what my values are. So the way I do it, and my preference, is I set up a little table that looks like that, with x values and y values. And I get to choose what my x values are. So I always go with minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So I have chosen my x values. So these will be the values for my x axis. And what I do now is I take this equation y equals 3x plus 1, and I input my x values into that equation to get y. And the way I do it is I just replace that x with each of these numbers in turn. So let's have a look at this first one. So I've got y equals 3x plus 1, and I'm just going to replace that x with one of these numbers. I'm going to start on the left. So y is 3 times minus 3, because that's what that means. Remember, 3x is 3 times x. So 3 times minus 3 plus 1. So what I can do is I can actually put this in a calculator to make my life easier. So I'm going to do 3 times minus 3 equals, and then add 1 equals, which gives me minus 8. And that is my y value. So that is minus 8. So that's my first one. When x is minus 3, my y value is minus 8. And then I just do the others in turn. So y equals 3 times minus 2 plus 1. Remember, I'm always replacing this x here. So 3 times minus 2 plus 1 minus 5. My next one, 3 times minus 1 plus 1. 3 times minus 1 plus 1 is minus 2. Okay, carrying on, 3 equal, sorry, y equals 3 times 0 plus 1. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. y equals 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 1 is 4. y equals 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 1 equals 7. And y equals 3 times 3, plus 1, so that's 9, plus 1, which is 10. I'll just write these up here as well. So I've got 1, 4, 7, 10. Okay, so I've been asked to plot this graph of equation y equals 3x plus 1 and now I have some x and y values so I can actually start to do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this up slightly. There we go and I can draw my graph on the graph paper. And I'm just going to do it on the same piece of graph paper. It might actually be a bit easier if I used a different piece of graph paper, but just to show you how I would go about it, I'm gonna use the same graph paper. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna draw my x-axis from minus three to three, and my y-axis from minus 10 to 10, because I'd like some nice round numbers on this. Okay, 
So let's have a look at doing this. And I'm going to draw it quite small over here. Ideally, I would use the whole piece of paper to draw my graph. But the way that I've done this, I'm just going to give myself this little spot. And hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. So let's see. I'm going to do my y-axis first. So I'm going to use a ruler. And you should really use a pencil, but I'm going to use a pen because I'm not sure how well a pencil will show up on camera. Okay. And so I want to do minus 10 to 10. So I'm going to draw a vertical line for my y-axis. And... Let's have a think about this scale. So if I'm going from 10 to minus 10, that's 20. So I probably want, I'm gonna do 10 boxes where each box is worth two uh, points as it were. Okay, so I've got at the top 10, then eight, six, four, two, and then zero is along here. So this is where I'm gonna draw my x-axis, where y equals zero. And I'm gonna go from minus three to three. So I'm gonna draw three boxes either side. So minus three, minus two, minus one, zero in the middle, and one, two, three. And I'm gonna continue my y-axis down. So that's minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, and minus 10. So this is my x-axis, and this is my y-axis. And now I just start plotting my points. So my first point is at x equals minus 3, y equals minus 8. So I find minus 3 on the x-axis, and minus 8 on the y-axis. And I look at where those uh, join together. So x-axis down, y-axis across. So I've got one point there. Uh, x equals minus 3, y equals minus 8. My next point is at x equals minus 2, y equals minus 5. So x equals minus 2, y equals minus 5, which is here, halfway between minus 4 and minus 6. So if I follow my x down, my y across, and do a cross. You can see I'm doing my crosses as kind of a vertical and horizontal line, rather than the traditional um, one that looks like that. That's because I find this easier to show where my x-axis point and y-axis points are. Okay, next one, x is minus 1, y is minus 2. So x is minus 1, y is minus 2. So that goes there. x is 0, y is 1. So at x equals 0, y is 1. Now this is on the y-axis. So it's there. x equals 1, y is 4 is my next. So x equals 1, y is 4. Next is x equals 2, y is 7. x equals 2, y is 7. Again, halfway between the 6 and 8. And my last one, x equals 3, y equals 10. So that's here. Okay, so you can see I now have my points. And these make a really nice line. So this is a straight line graph. So your points should make a straight line. If any of the points you've plotted are not in a straight line with the others, then you'll have calculated the values wrong. Okay, now I want to draw a line of best fit. So I'm going to get my ruler and I want to draw a point, a line between or like through the centre point of all of these. There we go, lovely. So that's my line of best fit. And that is the graph of y equals 3x plus 1.